Shalom, I'd like to come all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, the double honors of the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us this word. I got this article out of uh, remix.com, <clears throat> uh, dated August 14th. Basically, it goes into uh, how a German official is giving a warning about, you know, uproars of the people, you know, riots, over rising, you know, energy costs and with all this high inflation. Basically saying that, you know, the, the COVID protests or the uh, C-19 protests, you know, uh, is going to make those protests of like, you know, child's play, you know, because a lot of people are going to get caught up in this, you know, with these rising prices. Um, but the article is entitled, Energy Crisis Will Spark Riots That Make, you know, C-19 Protests Look Like Kids' Birthday Parties warns German law enforcement official. I know this is definitely one of the prophecies that, you know, how wish I told us to, to look after, you know, uh, one of the prophecies, you know, uproars of the people, you know. Um, so, uh, due to high energy prices, mass riots, and acts of violence geared towards overthrowing the government are a possibility claims the president of the Thuringian Office for the Protection of the Constitution, Stephen Kramer. Mass protests and riots are just as conceivable as concrete acts of violence against things and people, as well as classic terrorism to overthrow it. Now, the official claims that so-called legitimate protests by the population would allegedly be infiltrated by extremists. Uh, Kramer drew a comparison the protest against the restrictions of, on fundamental rights over Germany's C-19 policies. We will lose prosperity that we had for years. President of German uh, Employers Association warns of coming crisis over Russian gas cut. Uh, contrast what we have experienced so far in the virus, you know, pandemic in the form of violent clashes on social networks but also in the streets and squares was more was likely more of a kid's birthday party he said electricity prices have already tripled in Germany and those prices are expected to go higher although end consumers have not been hit with the bills yet the coming fall and winter is expected to put extreme burdens on German households uh, the country is expected to suffer from bankruptcies and mass layoffs, which could threaten social cohesion. The energy crisis can lead to a highly emotional and existential crisis that will affect large parts of the population. The Secret Service agent employed by the Red Red Green Coalition also claimed. But yeah, you know, up worldwide, you know, uproars of the people. But, uh, you know, that's what we're told to look for. Uh, first scripture is uh, Matthew 24 and 4. And how shall I answer? And said, Let them take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am the anointed, and I am anointed, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. Yeah, you know, some, all these wars that are going on right now, you know, wars in the Middle East, wars in the East. You know, China sent troops over to Russia recently. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, and pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. But these are the beginning of sorrows, you know, and there's famines, pestilences, earthquakes in diverse places, you know. Then shall they deliver you to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all the nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended, shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise and deceive many. Because of the because of iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Yeah, you know, people, the love of many shall wax cold, man. Yeah, you're not going to have a friend in that day. But he that endures to the end, the same shall be saved. Uh, and this gospel of the 
kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. Then shall the end come. You know, and we're seeing that now from the internet. You know, videos going up every day. Of this gospel is being preached. You know, through YouTube, and through the internet. Uh, scriptures, uh, second is verse nine and one. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it's the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the earth, the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. You know, uproars of the people, man. There's been uproars of people going back you know, to that Arab Spring, you know, when it really started to, to pop off a few years back. You know, the C-119 riots, and now this, you know, this, this prediction. And, you know, all this is going to come, you know, to America as well, you know, through the high race inflation, maybe another pestilence may get released out here. We don't know, but, you know, this is all going to come, man. So we have to be on that watch and look for these things, especially since he said, uh, you know, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached unto the whole, to all the world for a witness unto all nations. Then shall the end come. So, you know, you know just that alone, you know, we're close, you know. That scripture, second verse 15 and 14, woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draw nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another. The swords in their hands, you know, these riots, race riots, riots against your neighbor, all that stuff, man. People running up into your house, you know, your neighbors, stealing your food for the lack of bread, you know. For there shall be sedition among men, invading one another, and they shall not regard their kings or their princes. In the course of their actions, they'll stand in their power. Yeah. Sedition among men invading one another, man. Just read, you know, acts of violence, you know, geared towards overthrowing governments are a possibility. That's what he said. Mass protests and riots, you know, due to those high prices, man. Yeah, so the, the electricity prices have tripled in Germany. You know, yeah, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, for because of pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. The scripture said, the mighty men, the mighty men are going to cry there bitterly. You know, uh, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor but shall destroy their houses with the sword and sport of their goods because of the lack of bread for the great tribulation. Yeah, man. The love of many shall wax cold. You know, your neighbor's not going to be your friend anymore, you know? And your neighbors can't eat. They can't feed their family. They're going to be looking to, to come up in your house to take what you have, you know? Because because iniquity shall abound. The love of many shall wax cold, man. You know, your neighbors, man. A man shall have no pity upon his shall destroy their house with the sword, man. So it's going to get real out here, man. And this guy's predicting all that, you know. He's seeing it coming. Uh, last scripture, 2nd Ezra 6 and 18. And it said, Behold, the days come that I will begin to draw nigh and visit them that dwell upon the earth. And will begin to make inquisition of them what they had what they be that have hurt unjustly with their unrighteousness and when the affliction of Zion shall be fulfilled and when the affliction of Zion Israel that's about to be fulfilled man the Lord's about to turn back our captivity and when the world that shall begin to vanish away shall be finished you know whose world you know, Esau's world you know then we'll then will I show these tokens. The books shall be opened before the firmament, and they shall all see, and they shall see all together. You know, books open before the firmament. You know, that's the scriptures, man. 
be uploaded onto the internet. You know, these lessons, you know, these breakdowns. It says right here, we just read it, you know, this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for witness unto all nations. Then shall the end come. You know, so these books have been opened over the firmament. And, every, and this gospel has been preached. It's continue to be preached, you know. Now we're just waiting on the elect to be sealed. And that's when, you know, the Most High is going to, you know, release that destruction, according to, you know, the book of Revelation. But yeah, I just wanted to bring up this article from Remix News, uh, Remix.com. So this German law enforcement officials are predicting mass riots, you know, and acts of violence geared towards overthrowing the government or a possibility. This is the inflation, rising gas prices, rising electricity prices. So all these, you know, all these proxies are coming to pass, man. Uh, with that, you know, shalom.